Chloe, congratulations on Women's Player of the Year. First time it's been voted for by the supporters and, and you take home the honour. You must be so proud of yourself. Yeah, really proud. Um, to, be, to be fair, it's kind of, it's a real credit to us as a group just to be here um, with the men's and kind of align everything with the kind of the men's squad. Um, but no, I'm re really honoured to, uh, to pick it up for the first time, um, especially by the fans, because that, that's kind of special in itself. Absolutely, and you know we, we were just talking before we, we came on camera about the, the growth of, of the women's game, and, and certainly here at MK Dons, as, as you touched on, you know playing here at Stave MK, we've had record attendances for the women's games this year, and, and nights like tonight where you know the women's have the same awards as the men's. There's there's a real you know collective spirit and, and togetherness here at MK Dons when it comes to women's football. Yeah, exactly that, and look, you don't get it in many clubs. Um, it's really special here to play at, to. The, to hit, it's really special to play here. Sorry, at the stadium, um, and that's kind of a luxury for us. Um, so yeah, in terms of that, we we are really lucky, and it's one that we don't take for granted. Um, but like we said, the the game is on the up, um, and kind of we haven't reached it yet, and and there's so many kind of steps to take to to reach that. Um, but I think we are on that journey and that pathway to to kind of get to the top. Uh, from a team's perspective, top five finish, a county cup win. Um, probably couldn't have asked for, for much better than that going into this season. No, look, we set ourselves targets as as we always do um, coming into the start of the season, and we kind of looked at where we could pick up points and where we couldn't, and or not necessarily where we couldn't, sorry, but where we would challenge ourselves. Um, and yeah, we aim to kind of reach top top five. So yeah, we did achieve that, and obviously the county cup wins brilliant, um, bringing home a little bit of silverware, which is great, um, and it's just something to build on for next season, really. And, and you, on a personal note, obviously picking up this award, playing your part with the clean sheets, and, and obviously you didn't start the season um, as well. So how, how do you reflect on the season on a personal level? Yeah, on a personal level, it's been great. Um, I mean, last season I missed the um, first six months of the season um, after having my second child. So, yeah, that was kind of a tough build back into it, if you like. Um, but no, first real kind of solid season after the COVID and everything else. Um, but no, really honoured to, uh, to pick up this award and um, really appreciative from all the kind of fans' perspective. And, a, and a, a real unity amongst the team. You could tell it every time one of, you know, one of the women's team was going up to collect the awards. There's a real togetherness and, you know, it seems like a really close, special bond between, between you and the team. And I suppose that's something that's helped you achieve what you've got this year, but I'm, I'm sure we'll drive you on to, to do better next year as well. Yeah, exactly that. We are such a tight-knit group um, and it is a family. Um, and that's what we pride ourselves on. So, yeah, that's special, and that kind of takes us from from um, step to step, which is great. And I think that's what you need in in such a group when you hit the highs and lows. Um, just to have that family feel, it's really special, and that will take us to the next levels ultimately. So, yeah, we're looking forward to next season.